Hello and welcome to BISP Solutions. I am Anjali. In today's video, we will understand about how to process batch in data management. So let's see a few important points before we move further and see it practically. So using the data management batch processing feature, you can combine one or more load rules in a batch and execute it one time, run jobs in a batch in serial or parallel mode, define the parameters of the batch. You can derive the period parameters based on POV settings. You can also create a master batch that includes multiple batches with different parameters. You can also associate a batch with a batch group for ease of use and security. You can instruct the batch to submit included jobs in parallel mode and return control. You can instruct the batch to submit included jobs in parallel mode and return control only when all jobs are complete. When working with metadata batch definitions, you can create a batch that includes data load rules from different target applications. This is helpful when creating a batch from which to load data and metadata. Metadata in this case is loaded from a flat file. You can also create a batch of batches or we can say it master batch with one batch for metadata and another batch for data. With this method, you do not need to select a target application name, but note that you cannot migrate a master batch without one. All right, so these are the few points which we need to consider before creating a processing batch and before working on it. So in this application, we need to go to the data management under integration first. And in that, we click on setup. And for starting the process, we need to click on batch definition under batch. So I have already created this batch, batch underscore zero one for saving our time. So you can add a new one by clicking on add and you can provide the details over here. So let's see what, uh, what in definitions, what I have given. So for batch in definition summary, I have given the batch name, the execution mode as serial. You can also give it as parallel because if you want to run the rules and execute it parallelly, like all together, you can choose parallel. And if you want it sequentially, you can choose serial, all right? So I have chosen serial, given the target application over here and in type I have given data, all right? Then we click on save and then next we go to parameters and we'll define all the parameters for our batch like import from source, export to target and I have also checked on POV period. If I do not check this, what will happen? I can right here the starting period and also here give the end period. So since I am not loading any file for multiple periods, so I'm just clicking on POV period. Import mode is replace and export mode is also replace. All right, so save the parameters. Next, we go to bad jobs and we will add our data load rules over here. See, I have added only two data load rules over here. You can add as many as you want to in the batch jobs, okay? So click on add and provide the data load rule name in this. And also the important thing which I want to tell you is that here in job sequence, I have given number one and number two. Why so? Because I want PB underscore one underscore DLR to be run first. And then after that, I want this to be run. PB underscore two underscore DLR. All right, you select the target application. You see, the target application is same. Only the data load rule files are different. So you can add your files from here, data load rules. Then we click on save. All right, next we go to workflow tab and under batch execution, as you can see here, the batch name, which I have created in setup. In setup and batch definition, I have created this batch 
which I can see here in workflow in others batch execution. I can see the batch name over here. All right. So here we can see two options. One is execute and another one is schedule. If I want my execution to take immediately. So I will click on execute if I want it to, to take place immediately. And if I want to schedule it, I can do it by clicking on schedule and we have various options here. Like in simple mode, we can define the time over here. We can select the time zone, date and select AM or PM. All right, so this is for simple. We can also do it hourly or on daily basis, weekly, monthly or uh, day of a month or weekday. All right, so we click on OK. So this way we can schedule our jobs and batch file. And when we go to data load workbench, when we choose the correct location, we'll be able to identify whether the export is successful, whether the batch execution is successful or not. So select your file, PV1, select the correct period, Okay, so the uh, so our data load process is successfully completed. I have used scheduled method, so I can see here the three golden fishes. We can also check this in process detail. As you as we can see here, PB underscore one underscore LOC it is green check, and PB underscore two underscore LOC also green check. This means that PB underscore one underscore LOC file executed first. And after that, this file. Okay. So this is how we can use process batch in data management. Thank you for today and have a great day.